Now, the iconic trench coat maker Burberry is releasing a trading update today. Luxury goods have been enjoying a post-pandemic boom. According to recent research as well from Morgan Stanley, it shows that record numbers of young adults who live at home with their parents are helping drive demand, apparently, for luxury goods in the US and UK. So there you have it, the cost of having kids at home. Let's talk to Professor Howard Yu, a luxury specialist at the Institute for uh, Management Development and author of IMD Future Readiness Indicator which ranks the largest global companies in fashion, etc. Nice to have you on the programme. So Great to be back. just talk me through this uh, evidence from Morgan Stanley. Is it, is it uh, the older kids at home that can't afford to move out that are driving demand for luxury goods? Well, the reality is during 2022, majority of the growth of the entire industry is driven by millennial as well as Gen Z. So it is definitely true that a lot of this growth came from, you know, kids at home using disposable income, buying luxurious goods. But look, in order to win, a brand must be future ready. That means that Burberry or LVMH, they have to deliver strong growth in terms of profitability, at the same time investing in digital in order to build the next growth engine. So it's really delivering today as well as winning tomorrow. That's no secret. So how is Burberry doing? What will it tell us today when it reveals its latest numbers? Well, for a long time, Burberry did trend behind LVMH, Caring, which owned Gucci or Hermes. And it goes back to a long history where there were overexposure. It took them a long time to recover. But I think what we could expect is the CEO Jonathan is going to talk about margin expansion. Uh, this is where boosting near-term income is important. But you also see that they're trying to rebuild some of the deep capability. They have a new digital officer in recent months, as well as a chief merchandiser. So it's exciting time. OK. And, and you say exciting times, but everyone is talking about cost of living, how it's very hard to get by at the moment. There's not much spare cash around. How will that affect luxury goods? Well, if there is one or two sectors that are recession-proof beyond healthcare, is luxurious goods. Because when you're targeting the highest echelon of the society, they are the population who is most likely to be able to weather out the economic storm. But look again, any luxurious good, they need to target the mass segment here. So you create that perceived prestige, but at the same time, you're trying to generate cash from the main street uh, simultaneously. OK, Professor Howard Yu, thank you. Good to get your take on uh, the Great outlook for Burberry you. and its competitors. Speak to you again soon.